Hello and welcome to Cannabis Network. I'm your host Dr. Sikandar Sidhu and in today's video I want to talk about how does CBD help with conditions such as anxiety or depression. Please forgive me if in these videos I'm not using highly scientific terms because I want to break down this information in its most primitive and in its most black and white format so that more and more of our viewers can understand these concepts of how CBD interacts inside of our body. So to understand this concept, let's imagine that there is a container and this container is closed from all sides, but this container has a pipe which is continuously pumping fluid into it. Let's imagine that this container has these specific outlets built on it which are only allowing the passage of the water molecules. Now let's imagine that this container is inside of our heads and the fluid which is being pumped in is a neurotransmitter called serotonin. This neurotransmitter is also sometimes commonly referred to as the happy neurotransmitter. The reason behind it is because if we were to examine patients with conditions such as depression, anxiety, sleeplessness, we would often observe that the levels of serotonin inside of their brains were lower than the ordinary levels. So then how does modern medicine tackle this issue? Well, there is a pill or a family of pills which is referred to as SSRIs. The full form is selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. Now if this brain chamber inside of our brain has continuous flow of serotonin, let's say that this flow of serotonin somehow goes down, but the pump out of serotonin is at the same level. Now we're going to have a deficiency of serotonin inside of this chamber. So if there was a way to block these pumps, from pumping out serotonin, we could perhaps increase the level of serotonin inside of this chamber. That's exactly what this pill, serotonin reuptake inhibitor does. It will go to this uh, pump and it is going to attach itself to it. Therefore, it will block this pump from pumping out any of the serotonin outside of this chamber whereas the pumping into this chamber will continue thereby it will increase the level of serotonin. So if you've heard of this pill referred to as the happy pill it's because of this reason CBD does the exact same thing. It goes and it blocks the exact same pump Therefore, it is important for us to understand that those patients who are taking CBD products for these conditions need to maintain a level of serotonin in their brain. In order for this chamber to continue to have that balance, you have to maintain a particular level of CBD in your body. So if you're taking CBD products for anxiety, depression, or any of these conditions, you cannot just take it one day and expect the results to show up the next day. You have to take it for a period of at least two weeks to start getting these effects. So I hope you guys were able to understand how CBD helps our brain with conditions such as anxiety, depression, etc. So if you've enjoyed this video, please click on the like button. If you'd like to see more of these videos, we upload a video every week. Please make sure you click on the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you've enjoyed this video, please share it with as many people as possible and help us burst the myths around CBD and help more and more people get to the wonderful effects of this cannabis plant and what it has to offer. So that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one.